Morning guys, everything new under the sun. Well, it's uh, a time to start looking at uh, Hurricane Irma. And uh, I, I will um, do a video about Hurricane Irma in Bible prophecy. But of course, uh, we need to wait to see where it hits, when it hits, um, and to see if it <clears throat> relates or uh, uh, is paralleling any uh, specific uh, event and uh, see if we can connect it to an event or if we can't. And uh, possibly the, the start of Hurricane Irma maybe was also connected to an event. It, it was basically starting right around uh, when Harvey uh, was hitting Houston. So, And may, maybe that's the key. Maybe it's basically the same as uh, the event that happened, Kushner going to Israel. Uh, but we'll see. Um, and I'd like to do a, um, a video about that more specifically. Um, the, uh, here we go. Hurricane Irma, and this is the economiccollapseblog.com, by the way. If there was such a thing as a Category 6 hurricane, this would be it. So this is significant. So you can see where it is uh, on the uh, image there. 8 a.m. Thursday, 8 p.m. Thursday, so that would be tomorrow. And uh, then it's uh, gearing up to hit um, the Florida, basically September 11th. Uh, interesting timeline and date uh, there, obviously. Hurricane Irma has become an even stronger, uh, even stronger than the most extreme forecasts were projecting. According to the National Hurricane Center, um, Irma has sustained winds of 185 miles per hour at one point on Tuesday. That makes it the strongest Atlantic hurricane in history. When you're speaking of the strongest hurricane in history, you have to consider whether it's a specific warning from God uh, more closely, I think, than just your average hurricane that blows through and doesn't do a huge amount of damage. And of course, Harvey was the biggest to date. Will this eclipse that, if it, if you will? Will it eclipse Hurricane Harvey? Um, I was criticized for suggesting that Irma could become, uh, become so powerful that it could potentially be labeled Category 6 storm if such existed. And BP Earthwatch had been uh, su suggesting that for a long time. Well, now it actually happened. If you extrapolate the Sapphire Simpson scale, ex Category 6 would be uh, begin at 158 knots, which would be 181 miles per hour. Since Irma has surpassed that mark, I believe that is entire, entirely reasonable if people want to refer to it as a Category 6 storm. Of course, some meteorologists will be uh, very heated uh, with you when you use the term Category 6 because no such category actually exists. But you need, to, uh, you need some way to describe an Atlantic hurricane with sustained winds of 185 miles per hour. Category 5 simply does not do it justice. Hurricane Irma is a type of storm that could wipe entire cities off the map. And they did a, um, a story about that. And uh, wouldn't that be interesting? Uh, do we know in the Bible where God has wiped entire cities off the map? Think of Sodom and Gomorrah. And think of um, um, uh, Billy Graham's remark that, you know, if uh, God doesn't, doesn't judge America, USA, um, then he's got to go apologize to Sodom and Gomorrah, whom uh, he rained down fire uh, and brimstone on and completely destroyed because of the ultimate, um, the uh, violence and the sin there. Is the U.S. quite there yet? Uh, you know, it's hard to say whether they're exactly to the level there. But certainly, this hurricane could wipe cities off the map, um, biblically speaking. We don't know where the immensely powerful storm will make landfall in the U.S., but you don't want to be there when it does. And uh, I don't want to freak people out, but the truth is that the best thing you can do is get far away from the storm as you can. Will men's hearts be uh, failing them for fear of the things that are coming upon them? That's the biblical uh, description of what is happening in the end times. This is not just another storm. This is a history-making event. If Irma slams directly into one of the major cities as a Category 5, it could potentially make Hurricane Harvey look like a Sunday picnic. This thing is gearing up to be massive, massive. You know, everybody was saying Hurricane Harvey was a catastrophe uh, in every way, shape, and form. This is going to be a uh, Mad Max catastrophe, uh, martial law, uh, uh, hoarding of food, gangs roaming around with uh, weapons, looking for food, shelter, etc. This is uh, this is really a biblical uh, level type storm if this hits at the, uh, the strength that it is now. According to Miami Herald, Hurricane Irma has sustained winds of 185 miles per hour. Irma continued to explode into a powerful storm. 
uh, Tuesday afternoon with winds of 185 miles per hour. Um, catastrophic winds tonight uh, for the Leeward Islands, they're saying. Puerto Rico slammed tomorrow. In Puerto Rico, the government uh, asked Donald Trump to, to declare a state of emergency with, while an electric company warned Irma's fierce winds could leave the company without power for four to six months. Now, if that is not uh, a biblical scale destruction, I don't know what is. Number two, Noah is saying that Irma is the strongest hurricane ever recorded in the Atlantic ever. This is history-making stuff that puts it at the level of biblical proportions. Absolutely. Number three, as mentioned, if you extrapolate Saffir Simpson, it could be considered a Category 6. Number four, Hurricane Irma is so enormously powerful, it's showing up on size, uh, seismo, seismometers. Seismo, seismometers? It's uh, showing up on the, uh, the earthquake scale. Seism oh, seismometers. It's early. Seismometers. Yes, it's showing up on seismometers. It's so uh, powerful that it's showing up almost like an, uh, a small earthquake wherever it's uh, heading over. Hurricane is so strong it's showing up on seismometers, uh, uh, equipment designed to measure earthquakes. What we're seeing is the seismogram are low-pitch hums that gradually become stronger as a hurricane gets closer. Um, so vibration, frequency, how many people is that going to hurt if there's such uh, low vibration and frequency occurring? Number five, in all the U.S. history, only three Category 5 hurricanes ever hit the United States. An unnamed storm in 1935, Hurricane Camille in 69, and Hurricane Andrew in 92. Number six, a state of emergency has, emergency has already been declared in every single county in the state of Florida. They're getting ready for a complete destruction disaster. If you are in the danger zone and you have not stockpiled food, water, and supplies, it is probably already too late. Things... E this is why you need to be a prepper now before things get bad so that you're ready for things, these things because you can't predict when these things are coming necessarily um, and you need to be prepared already. Same as with your heart. You need to have your heart right with Jesus Christ because you don't know when he's going to return specifically. We just don't know. We don't know until, he'll act, until he actually returns. And so you need to have your heart right with Jesus. You need to accept him as your Lord and Savior. He died for my sin and your sin about 2,000 years ago. And these things, he said, the sun, moon, and stars will be given as signs. And uh, things that God uses, uh, natural disasters, all through the Bible as signs, as blessings, as judgment, as signs, uh, as various things. We need to be aware and, and uh, pay attention. Reports of panic prepping are coming in from all over Florida and down in Puerto Rico. Many stores are already out of all important supp supplies. People are panicking. You, you should have been... Uh, you should have been done your prepping before this so you don't have to panic, so you don't have to go anywhere. One of my readers makes the point the other day that this isn't uh, the kind of storm that you can prepare for. If my re uh, And my reader was precisely correct. You can't get prepared for a hurricane with sustained winds of 185 miles per hour. This is a disaster of biblical proportions. Such a storm will snap homes like toothpicks. Because of the waters in the Gulf of Mexico, there is possibility that Irma could get even stronger if it slides to the south of uh, Florida. Let's hope it doesn't happen, but a scenario in which Irma makes landfall on the Gulf Coast as a Category 5 storm would probably be the worst of all potential possibilities if such a scenario plays out. Um, please get out of the path of the storm. Trying to ride out the storm would do you no good so whatsoever. This is basically um, likely death if you're staying in the, the uh, path of a storm this powerful. Um, is there prophetic implications? Uh, I am betting very highly that there is significant a prophetic um, relation to this storm. Have I lined it up yet? No, I haven't lined it up yet, but like I say, this is a history-making storm. This is a storm of biblical proportions. Be prepared. I'm going to do my regular prophecy update next. We're going to take a look at the headlines um, and see what's going on. The earth is groaning. There's, sun, uh, there's signs in the sun, moon, and stars, and the earth is groaning, and uh, people's hearts will be failing them for fear of the things that are coming upon them. This is what the Bible says about the end times. We are living in that day. I hope you know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.